I tie them in pairs. And it really doesn't matter whether you um, whether you tie two or three or four at a time. I wouldn't go any more than four, though. Uh, I do two uh, out of habit more than anything, so there's nothing magical about it. And so I continue to just tie these in pairs all the way across. And it might take you five, ten minutes. There aren't that many of them. So the, um, the stitching threads are really strong polyester and they're a little on the springy side so uh, they're not that well behaved but they're not that ill behaved either and they're really strong they won't break when you're drawing them up so that's really the key to the, um, the stitched shibori okay so now I've finished tying them all and I like to go back and make sure that I've got them all um, Sometimes, just to make sure, I count the number of strings there are here to make sure that I've got um, the right number of, of ties tied. So I'm checking these one by one here to make sure I've got a knot. I've got two of them and they're knotted together. And it looks like I've got them all. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other end and I'm going to pull these guys out. Okay, so now I have all of these pulled out to some extent and I'm just going to start gathering and gathering and gathering. See, we're getting there. Okay, so it is now pretty well drawn up, but I want to make sure that we've got all of the threads tie or pulled really really tightly so I'm going to pull them two or three at a time here and you can see where this is showing up a little bit here um, where um, where it's looped out what that means is that one of these threads is not pulled tight enough. So there we go, we've got that one. And let's go ahead and pull that one. Okay. I can see down here where they're not pulled too, uh, tightly enough. So the thing about this uh, polyester thread is it's uh, really slick and so it slides through the fabric really really well.
So I'm looking at this and trying to find the thread. There it is. That's going to pull that one tight. And as I get them here in the middle, I'm going to start um, pushing it a little bit farther away from me so I know which one is next. Now I'm, I'm just doing them individually so I make sure I've got all of them. Okay, so there it is. All right, now what I want to do is um, these strings are really long, so I don't need them that long. They're going to be in my way, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut them. And now I'm going to start tying these up. So these I take in... Um, in fours, uh, and I tie pairs together, and I tie what I call a double square knot. So I've gone through the loop once, I'm going to go through it twice. And that may be called a surgeon's knot, I'm not really sure. And I'm going to pull that really tight. All right, now I'm going to go back square knot style, and I'm going to take this through once and twice. And I'm going to tie that in a really tight knot and put that aside. Okay, I'm going to take the next four, pull tight again, separate them into pairs, and go through once, twice, pull it really tight, square knot again, once and twice, pull it really tight. So you can see how fast this goes as opposed to stitching it yourself, which might take on the order of uh, four to five hours for a piece this size. So there's my square knot again. You may not be able to see how tight I'm pulling it, but um, the strings are not about to break. Okay, so now here we are. Okay, there it is. So front and back we should see no, uh, no little, little black uh, bubbles coming up where the string is not tied tightly enough. So that's, that's it, um, and we're going to prepare it to dye.